We Americans are fascinated by our legal system. Movies, television, and the news media capture the public's interest in the inherent drama of the courtroom. But many people tend to overlook the most important element of our legal system, the jury, the group of ordinary citizens chosen from the community who will ultimately determine the outcome of these cases. Who are the people who make up our juries? And how did the jury trial become such an important element in our system of justice? The concept of jury trials dates as far back as 400 BC in ancient Greece. Since then, Western civilization has seen the jury system come and go. During the reign of the Roman Empire, government officials determined the guilt or innocence of the accused in criminal cases and could impose penalties based on social rank. While a privileged Roman citizen would be fined for an offense, those less fortunate might be thrown to the beasts. In the Middle Ages, civil and criminal disputes were commonly settled by methods that defied logic and fairness. In England, William the Conqueror preferred trial by combat, where the accused and the accuser fought to the death, and the survivor was declared the innocent party. The 12th century also saw the use of trial by ordeal. An accused would be forced to plunge his hand into boiling water to see if it would become infected, the assumption being that God would quickly heal the hands of those who were innocent. Most of the time in medieval England, however, people didn't receive trials at all. The king and his lords held absolute power. Property was seized and people were imprisoned or executed based upon nothing more than royal declaration. Things changed in the year 1215 when English citizens forced King John to sign the Magna Carta, a document that guaranteed citizens the right to a jury of their peers, making the jury trial a permanent right under English law. The jury system came to America along with the first English colonists in the 1600s. But by the late 1700s, the British government was denying the colonists the right to trial by jury. Without this right, the British colonial courts became merely an instrument of the king to deprive the colonists of their liberties. In 1776, Thomas Jefferson listed the denial of the right to trial by jury as an important reason for the Declaration of Independence. The respective colonies are entitled to the common law of England, and more especially to the great and inestimable privilege of being tried by their peers of the community according to the course of law. American colonists later fought and died for their independence and for the right to trial by jury, which would become one of the cornerstones of our system of justice. After America gained its independence from England, the Founding Fathers guaranteed the right to trial by jury in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. As the nation grew westward, this new American system of justice followed. In western territories, where the law was once laid down by the gun and sheriff's posse, the principles of American law and jury trial eventually found their way into the frontier. In our state, the right to trial by jury goes as far back as July 13, 1787, when Congress passed the Northwest Ordinance, providing for the right to trial by jury in the area that would eventually become the territory of Iowa. When Iowa was later admitted to the United States in 1846, the Iowa State Constitution expressly stated that its citizens' right to trial by jury would never be violated. That is still true today. Once you're 18 years old, you are eligible to participate in one of the most prestigious and time-honored traditions of the American justice system, the jury trial. Throughout your life, you may be called upon to serve on a jury in your community. And whether it's a famous case that makes the headlines, or a case that few people outside the courtroom know anything about, you can be sure that you will be faced with questions that are of vital importance to the people involved. Serving on a jury is not just a responsibility of citizenship. It's an exciting opportunity to have a voice in our legal system. Jury duty is a way for ordinary citizens to control the authority of the government and decide what is just. Juries have been an important part of our legal system from the beginning. As you will learn, some jury verdicts have had a profound impact on our society. But no matter what the case is about, or how much or little media attention the case gets, when you serve on a jury, you are acting as the conscience of your community.